Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000-plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Lands a solid punch there. Nice left hand. Able to block that one. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. over into the leg kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow managed to land it with so much force. What a kick that will land. Straight left there. Back and forth we go. Straight punch is good. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, bad spot for that cut right on the lip. Broke him open. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, nice elbow. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. There's his jab. Final seconds of round one. Way to test the chin there. Landed a few times. Oh, huge strike from Archer. There's the end of the round. And thankfully, it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it right. might be good night, I mean. Round two here. Nice job there to minimize damage. is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Just touching him with the jab. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. On top. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go now. Jab snaps the head back. 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Stop, stop, All right, so the stop. referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. He still seems spirited and mentally in this fight, and... To that end, to that end, the doctor will allow him to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do round it. two underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on them by blocking all these attacks. Establishing the jab here. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Oh! Lands a big elbow there. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside position will indeed call the fight. Referee bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. We're playing the winner by TKO and Intentions. Hey man. Everybody stand up if you ever had your back against the wall and had to fight back. It's all right.